In this film, we explore the question of what are research methods. In particular, we're going to look at what we mean when we talk about research methods at a typical university. The first thing we notice about the term research methods is that it has the word research in it. We're all familiar with what research is. Research is that thing that academics do when they explore the world around them. Political research might look at things such as voting behaviour, ideological beliefs, or the best ways to settle armed conflicts. Psychological research might investigate how young children interact with the world around them, or the possible causes and remedies for drug addiction. Research is what universities do, it's what academics do all the time, and it's the thing that allows academics to write books and publish peer-reviewed journals. Research is also what students do. Undergraduates have to write dissertations based on original research projects. Master's students and PhD students have to write much longer theses and dissertations entirely based on extended research. Research is also the thing that university libraries support. And of course librarians also do a lot of research too. Journals are basically enormous rolling collections of research reports. Monographs are basically extended research reports. Much of the content acquired each year by a typical university library could roughly be described as a research report of one kind or another. So we all know what research is, but what are research methods? Put simply, research methods, or research methodology, as it's sometimes called, is the how of research. Every research study, whether it's published in a peer-reviewed journal, in a book, or simply written up as a PhD thesis or master's dissertation, relies on the author, the researcher, conducting original research. So our political scientist researcher will use research methods such as surveys or conduct interviews. Our psychologist researcher will also use research methods, albeit different methods, such as experiments or observation studies, to investigate, for example, how young children interact with their mothers. All research requires research methods, then. They are the systematic tools of doing research, the how of doing research. If we want to examine black holes, physicists need research methods to generate their data. Scientists looking for a cure for cancer use a host of research methods, like randomised control trials, systematic review, cohort studies, cluster analysis, to enable them to systematically understand what factors might cause someone to get cancer or recover from cancer. If we want to understand what causes inflation, we need research methods. If we want to understand what works in teaching mathematics, we need research methods. Or, if we want to understand the causes of the First World War, we need research methods. So research methods are the essential tools that underpin all academic research. They're basically the very building blocks of university life. The building block metaphor is useful in understanding some other important things about research methods. And that is that the range of research methods used by academics and students are broadly similar for all of the different disciplines we would typically find on campus. To sum up, research methods are the how of doing research. They are the essential and common tools used to drive research across the university. The range of research methods out there are wide, ranging from quantitative methods to produce statistics to qualitative methods. But taken together, that wide range nevertheless represents a bounded set of tools and techniques that are the building blocks of research used by researchers in all disciplines. Over the years, SAGE has published across the full range of research methods that are used most commonly in the social sciences. Many of those books form the bedrock of the online resource we've called SAGE Research Methods, or SRM for short. So please take a few minutes to explore SRM for yourself.